Hey, Mr. Hey, Mister. We are here at the Berlin Talent Campus now with Liz Rosenthal from Power to Pixel. Thank you very much for the interview. <coughs> Thank you for interviewing me. Um, we would like to know a bit about um, your opinion about cross media, your work, um, cross media, and we prepared some questions here. Maybe you can hold this. Um, I can I can hold your water if you want. And um, the wet questions are like a bit difficult questions, a bit provocative questions. The grey ones are like nice questions and just choose what you want and yeah Maybe just you choose for me. No, no no oh no I can't do it. So um yeah. So red are difficult. Yeah. Okay, I'll go for the difficult then. Okay, I like this. This is like Chinese Cross media blurs genre and makes media interactive and high tech. This is sad as old jobs, technologies and practices are being lost. What do you think about that? Okay, so this is why I have to think about this. That's a lot of different statements and questions. So, first I would say, um, we've always had technological changes throughout history. Um, when the printing press was invented, people thought that was the end of the world as the church lost control of um, knowledge in a way and at the moment that's what we're seeing but with new beginnings and new technology it means that there's new opportunities and new creation and it's always really hard for people to move forward but it's true at this point the pace of change is so quick that I think that's what is very confusing for everybody because the old models are breaking very fast and the new ones are, um, and, uh, are difficult to find because I think technology has not, is not going to stop changing for a while so we're in a, going to be in a permanent state of change. Now I'm someone who likes uh, a challenge and I like pioneering and at Power to the Pixel we always like working with new ideas. So for me I love this time. Um, I worked in the film industry for around 12 years and um, I loved what I did. I was very lucky. I worked with a great company called Next Wave Films and we were involved in 14 different feature films by emerging filmmakers such as Christopher Nolan, and Joe Carnahan, um, and some really great documentary directors. And they all won major awards, the prize, the films. But what happened is we found they didn't reach an audience, even though they won awards in Sundance and Berlin and Rotterdam and many other festivals, when it came to getting to an audience, it was really tough. So I started looking at new models, what happening in other businesses online, started thinking, could we apply that to film? And I see this as a huge opportunity for storytellers um, of all types um, to find new routes to communicate what they say. And before we had a very restrictive system that was kind of much simpler and easier for fewer people. Now we have a system that's kind of more democratic for many people, but it's hard to make money. So there's always these kind of like, it's not so simple that there's good and bad. Um, there's always, it's, it's like, you know, if you look in kind of Eastern philosophies, there's always like yin and yang and good and bad, black and white, whatever we want to look, something changes and something's created somewhere else. So I think this is a really fantastic time to be a storyteller. I think there are exciting people to work with. I think there are exciting new partners. They're just not in the same place as they used to be. And you have to kind of be a lot more open and experimental about what that is. Okay, I think I should go for grey now. <laughs> okay. You have supported independent cinema for most of your career. For example, your cinema company, Athlete Lights Films. What do you like about independent productions? Is this linked into why you support cross media? So, as I mentioned before, um, 
My first kind of actual industry job was in a company called Next Wave Films, which um, was an American company. It was part of the independent film channel in the States. And um, we worked with many different independent emerging directors. Um, so I came out of the independent world. I started making films by myself um, before Earthly Delights Films. And I, in, within the film world, what was great was we were working on very small budgets, which meant that we had a lot more freedom because you could start um, developing ideas much quicker. But even when it came to the distribution, as I just mentioned, um, you were still stuck in the same position, that you were dependent on a whole lot of gatekeepers to reach an audience. And so what, what attracted me to look elsewhere and at different models was actually it started because of distribution and not being able to reach an audience. And so um, I started looking at different models of how the internet could help you uh, bridge that gap much quicker and engage with audiences faster. And actually what it made me uh, see was it's not just about distribution. Once you start engaging with an audience in different places, it means it changes the shape of storytelling. And that's how I became interested in this idea of cross-media or transmedia or new story forms. Because I started realizing once you change the way you communicate, you know, where you communicate, you communicate in a different way. So that kind of grew out of my experience from independent film. And I still, we work on film projects, but we work on film projects that are um, thinking beyond a single format and think of new ways to engage with their audience. who might not necessarily be go to a cinema or spend 90 minutes listening to that story or only wanting to engage with that story on 90 minutes.